Vietnamese ambassador to the Philippines, Lee Kwok Tuan, visited Eagle Broadcasting Corporation and met with the representatives of the station. The aim of the meeting is to reach out to the wider Filipino community in the Philippines through the station. And in an exclusive interview, the ambassador shared some milestones or significant events between Vietnam and the Philippines. Well, um, this is very, uh, uh, do you know, one and very uh, uh, outstanding relationship between the two countries. Mm -hmm. And there are milestones. First, I, I would, uh, you know, recall you about the 1978 uh, visit of uh, our Vietnam Prime Minister Pham Van Dong. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the visit, uh, they signed an agreement on cooperation of scientifics, um, economic and technical fields, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. such as uh, trade, transport, communications, uh, agriculture and uh, natural resources. Mm -hmm. Also in 1978, the two embassies are set up in two capitals. Okay. And the second milestone, I think, is the 1994, mm -hmm. when uh, President Fidel Ramos visited Vietnam, mm -hmm. and he became the first head of the state of the Philippines to visit Vietnam. Mm -hmm ever since. Mm -hmm. in, uh, on November 17, 2015, mm -hmm. uh, President uh, Benigno Aquino of the Philippines mm -hmm. and uh, Vietnam President Chen Dai Huang, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, yes, Chung Tân Sa, mm -hmm. Chung Tân Sa uh, signed an agreement on setting up the strategic partnership. Okay. And I think most recently we have the official visit of President Duterte mm -hmm. yeah, uh, undertook in uh, last September 2016. Now, Vietnam, a country formed early in the history and often had to carry out wars of resistance against foreign invaders. This created a prominent cultural feature, a patriotism that infiltrated and encompassed every aspect of life. The ambassador said the Philippines and Vietnam can both learn from each other because of their historical backgrounds. From the history of Vietnam, I, I think that we have lessons. We also have some experience. But yes, I think that Vietnam yes. and the Philippines are two different countries. Yes. Vietnam and Philippines are the members of ASEAN. Mm -hmm. But each country has their own history. Yes. And we also find that Vietnam and Philippines uh, people also, do you know, uh, pay a lot of uh, sacrifices in their cause of struggling for independence. Yes. And uh, in their cause of binding their country. The thing is, we do not think that uh, we can have some lessons that the Filipino learn, but we share mm -hmm. what we what we 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 uh, ex experienced. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The first is uh, the lessons of independence. Yes, we must be a country that uh, we we are independent. Mm -hmm. We are independent. Everything. The second is the cooperations internationally. That's that uh, we, as uh, if the past Vietnam has experienced uh, the about the blockade, uh, economic blockade, political blockade, yes, everything is expound, blockade. Expound yes, in that, yes. Right, and th then so we learned that we need the cooperations with other countries, with other international institutions, mm -hmm. with other people. Uh, you know. Uh, uh, to the world outside, so that uh, we can have a, you know, the common cooperations in order to get the benefits for the two sides, mm -hmm. uh, and that would bring wealth to our people, mm -hmm. to our country, that help building our country mm -hmm. prosperously. Uh, economic blockade, political blockade. He then mentioned areas that Vietnam and the Philippines right. can further their cooperation. Okay. But first, I would like to say that politically, mm 
Yes. That is uh, relations between Vietnam and the Philippines are very strong, and they are the strategic partnership. Okay. And we have a lot of uh, mechanisms that uh, we uh, do you know are doing, and um, uh, to do you know in order to develop relations like uh, the relations between the government to government, mm -hmm. the relations between the uh, government agencies and the people to people. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the first. The second is Vietnam and the Philippines authors are member of ASEAN. So I think that basically we, we you know, having a lot of common interest mm -hmm. and support each other mm -hmm. on the uh, all the interested uh, the issues and the uh, common international issues. Mm -hmm. And economically, I think uh, the two countries now have the mutually complementary economies. So that's the Vietnam and the Philippines can, do you know, have a very good relations mm -hmm. in terms of trade. We have a, a number of 3.3 billion U.S. dollars last year. That that is a two-way import export of Vietnam and the Philippines. Okay. It was. We also had the mechanism in the economy, like uh, the Joint Commission on Trade mm -hmm. of Vietnam and the Philippines. And we also have uh, others, uh, you know, relations like uh, in education, mm -hmm. in ocean and maritime corporations, in defense corporations, security corporations, education corporations, etc. Et I have seen that uh, Vietnam and Philippines are having the mm -hmm. mutually complementary economies. Yeah. That's why that's uh, the two sides have a lot of things that we can, uh, you know, Explore. cooperate. Yeah. We can import some from the Philippines mm -hmm. and export some to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. That's that's one thing. The other is um, I have seen that there are opportunities okay. for the two countries like because um, like uh, English is one. Okay. Uh, like. Uh, English education, like uh, the uh, um, trade and business communities of the two countries. Mm -hmm. uh, Vietnam now, we can, you know, uh, sell rice, mm -hmm. steel, cement to the Philippines, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to support uh, the bill, bill, bill uh, policy of the President Duterte. Yes. But likewise, I think that Vietnam also have uh, a lot of things that we can import from, from the, the Philippines, Philippines. Yes. like uh, the agricultural products, oh. like uh, uh, you know um, fertilizers, okay. like uh, finished um, uh, home appliances, <laughs> yes. etc. Mm -hmm. like, uh, he also the said that businesses in Vietnam are always considering worker supply from neighboring countries, especially the Philippines. Filipino workers are believed to work hard, they have high discipline and be friendly. And he pointed out that Vietnamese workers' English skills are still low, so they are also in need of teachers to teach the language. I have seen that kind of cooperation, which is very uh, potential and strong. Mm -hmm. Say, for instance, some Vietnamese universities have already invited the okay. English teachers from the Philippines mm -hmm. to come over to teach Vietnamese students. Mm -hmm. And we, we think that this is one of the, the field that we can do not expand more in the cooperation says because English is uh, very demanding in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And we find that, that the Filipinos uh, do you know have very good English. Mm -hmm. So that, that is one of typical example yeah. that you know, demonstrate the relations between Vietnam and the Philippines. Mm -hmm. I think there are opportunities for Filipinos. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we have, we have uh, a lot of, uh, you know, demand uh, from from, from uh, Vietnam to f for the Filipinos nurses mm -hmm.
for the uh, you know the people that do do the banking management board say for instance mm -hmm. and uh, and then others too so that is also the opportunities for the Filipinos to come over to Vietnam. Mm -hmm. The Filipinos are best singers. <laughs> so I think that's in, in the, the society of Vietnam now, we, our people also, you know, uh, like her entertainment. Oh. Yes, and uh, we, we, we get uh, very interested in listening to the Filipino singers, mm -hmm. Filipinos or Filipinos, mm -hmm. all of them, they sing very well <laughs> and beautifully, mm -hmm. and uh, that that is uh, the the one that uh, we have now in in my country mm -hmm. that we we uh, admire the Filipinos or Filipinas mm -hmm. when they perform the song or the music. Mm -hmm. So, what are the Filipino travelers missing by skipping Vietnam? Like what places should we visit? Activities that we must try? Yes, yes. mainly I, I would mention too. Uh, I know that uh, Filipinos like Vietnamese food. Mm -hmm. So if you don't visit Vietnam, you know, they wouldn't miss the chance to, you know, get the taste of uh, the uh, rice noodle soup. Mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, do you know, fresh spring roll. Mm -hmm of the deep fried spring rolls mm -hmm. I, and we also have the you know very beautiful cities like uh, from the north to the south mm -hmm. Hanoi, Hue, Da Nang, mm -hmm. um, Nha Chang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so for Filipinos who are raring to visit Vietnam what are the visa requirements do we have or do we have the uh, uh, or what procedures do they need to do? Mm, really no because guess, Vietnam yeah. and the Philippines are member of ASEAN. ASEAN, yes. That's one thing. The second is Vietnam and the Philippines have the bilateral, the bilateral visa exemptions. Yes, that's true. Uh, which is valid for 21 days. Mm -hmm. So with, with your Filipino's passport, uh, that uh, you are a holder, you can travel in Vietnam for 21 days. So you can but stay more there than 21, 21 days. days then you need to get a visa. What would you like the world to know about Vietnam? Vietnam is one of the developing country, which is a very beautiful country. Mm -hmm. Vietnam is also a member of ASEAN. Mm -hmm. Vietnam is also a reliable uh, friends to, you know, everyone in the woods. We are open to everyone mm -hmm. and Vietnam is a responsible member of the world community.